Hey everyone, I've got a hopefully quick tutorial for you today on how you can use action set layers on Steam Deck through Steam Input. It is absolutely incredibly powerful. And one of the things that's going to make just about any game uh, playable, as long as the game will run, you'll be able to figure out inputs for it. Let's get started. I've got Oblivion running, one of my all time favorite RPGs, uh, but it's a mouse and keyboard game. Now I've currently got it set up so that my right stick is the, um, or not right stick, the right trackpad is camera control. And the left trackpad brings up a little menu uh, so I can cast a spell or I can uh, bring up my inventory, that kind of thing. Um, and I could add more things to that radial menu, but I don't like to have the radial menus be too packed with stuff. So what I'm gonna do instead is use what's called an action layer set. Let me show you how that works. First off, I'm gonna hit the Steam button and I'm gonna go into my controller settings. Now, once I'm in my controller settings, I'm going to hit edit layout. And down here at the very bottom, I have action sets. So I'm gonna tap on that and I'm going to click on the gear icon and I'm going to say add a layer. Action sets are like an entirely new set of controls and action layers are basically a set of controls that go on top of the controls that you already have. I find that the layers are more intuitive for me and easier to program than going through and making an entire new set. However, you can remap every single thing on the Steam Deck using just one button, which is very cool. That's not what I'm doing right here. What I'm doing is making a new layer and I'm going to call this um, save load, save. And I, I can't see what I'm doing because I'm too far away from the Steam Deck, save space load. I didn't do it, L-O-A-D, there we go, confirm. So now I've got a brand new layer called uh, save load and you can see that it is underneath or nested underneath my default set. What that means is it's going to inherit all of the controls from the default set. So if I use this new layer, nothing's actually going to change. That's okay. Uh, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit B and I'm going to go back into edit layout. And you'll notice that up here on the top, it says action set. And I'm going to hit R1 to switch over to my save load or L1 to go back to the default. The first thing that I like to do is make a button that actually turns on the new layer. So I'm gonna go under buttons and down here under back grips, I'm gonna use L4. That's the uh, back paddle on the left top up here, um, basically behind this trackpad. And I'm going to hit add command and I've got all the things that I can do, but one of those things is action sets. And I'm going to set it as a hold action set layer. What that does is it activates a layer as long as I am holding that button down. So I'm going to tap that and it asks me which layer do I want to select and it's going to be the save load layer. What this shows you is that you can make as many of these different layers as you want and depending on what button you push it's going to change uh, which layer you load up giving you almost infinite possibilities for button combinations and inputs in your games using steam input. All right, I've got that set. I'm going to hit confirm. Now I'm going to hit R1 in order to switch from my default to the save load set. And I'm going to set my, my trackpad on the right, my right trackpad behavior. I'm going to switch that over to a, radial menu. And now that I've got it set as a radial menu, my radial menu one command, I'm going to go to the keyboard, I'm going to say F5. F5 is quick save, I think. And then quick load. Whoops, that's the wrong thing. Uh, I'm going to set quick load as my next button. And I can add whatever buttons I want here. But right now I'm just going to add the quick save and the quick load. And now I've got that all set, I'm going to back out, go back into the game. Let me go ahead and close my inventory. And you can see that using the trackpad looks around real quick. But if I pick this up and I hold the left back pedal, you can hear, well, you can't hear it, but there's a little tiny audible beep that you hear just for a second. And now you can see that the right trackpad, instead of looking around with the camera, is now going to do a quick save. And I'm going to run forward. And oh no, there was a rat there that killed me. I can now quick load and I'm right back here. 
So quick save and quick load. And that is how you can use uh, action layers in order to come up with a whole bunch of different inputs in all of your games that might not work exactly the way that they were intended to because they were not made with the Steam Deck in mind. Anyway, let me know what action layers and sets you're going to be using in the comment section down below. I really appreciate you all watching this. Thanks for watching. Stay rad, everybody.